Meghan and Harry signed a multi-million dollar deal with Spotify in December 2020. A spokesperson for Archie Audio said that their first content, besides a one-off holiday special featuring Sir Elton John, is likely to be released this summer. A spokesperson for the couple told Bazaar.com, We are excited to announce that we are continuing production of Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex's groundbreaking first podcast series, set to launch this summer. It is not known whether or not Prince Harry will appear in the podcast, according to reports. Royal expert Richard Eden called Prince Harry's absence curious. Writing on Twitter, the Daily Mail's diary editor said, This is most curious, when hashtag Spotify announced its deal with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, it was stressed that both would appear on the podcasts. Now, we've been told the first series will feature only hashtag Meghan. What's happened to hashtag Prince Harry? I think we should be told. Another news, Sophie Wessex undoubtedly benefits from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepping back from royal life because it has raised her profile, a royal expert has claimed. The Countess, 47, who has often been noted as the monarch's favorite family member, has embarked on a rare high-profile solo trip of New York in recent days, cementing her position as the Queen's secret weapon within the new-look monarchy. Royal expert Russell Myers has now explained how the mother of two has seen her star rise after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as senior royals and moved to California last year. Speaking on True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat, he explained, are the Instagram generation going to be as obsessed with Sophie and Edward Wessex as they are with the Sussexes? Obviously not. However, when you're dealing with them, Sophie's really across her subject matter. It's not just for show and she has really grown into that. With the Sussexes not here, the Wessexes will undoubtedly benefit. Meanwhile he also pointed to how similar the Meghan and Sophie's interests are, saying, the similarities between Sophie and Meghan are there to be seen. Sophie's working with girls' education, she's done a lot of stuff about violence against females in Africa. The comments come after a busy few days for Sophie, who has just undertaken a rare solo trip to New York. During the trip, she delivered the keynote address at the United Nations Assistance Mission in Afghanistan event, as part of her busy schedule of engagements for her four-day visit. The spring of this year will see the Earl and Countess of Wessex, who live in Bagshot Park with their children Lady Louise Windsor, 18, and James, Vicom Severn, 14, visit Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The Queen, who no longer flies, would not have been expected to travel, but it's rare for Wessexes to do a high-profile joint overseas tour that might have otherwise been handed to Harry and Meghan. Her Majesty's daughter-in-law Sophie has often been noted as the monarch's favorite family member and closest confidant. She was reportedly encouraged by the monarch to fill the gap left by Prince Harry and Meghan following Meg's at the start of 2020. Experts previously noted the count as being in the spotlight as what Prince Philip would have wanted and helped to keep his memory alive. The Queen is very canny. And she has always been very fond of Sophie, Ingrid Seward said, speaking to the Times. Prince Philip adored Sophie, and the Queen feels that now is the moment to push her, just gently. Give some interviews, do some stuff. You work very hard, no one takes any notice. Get out there. I can see her saying that. It's what Prince Philip would have wanted, and now he is gone, doing what he would have wanted keeps his memory alive. I think he would have really liked Edward and Sophie to be a bit more high profile. It was previously reported that Sophie is one of four loyal, discreet and utterly trustworthy women of the Queen's inner circle who are offering crucial support as she faces life without her beloved Prince Philip, who died on April 9, aged 99.